really, really good college basketball game again. Uh, it's, it's two times uh, against Kansas State that the game felt somewhat similar, to be honest. Uh, we jumped on them early, um, second half or second quarter. Um, I thought they settled in again and kind of got us. Uh, maybe some foul trouble really got us out a little rhythm, out of our rhythm in the second quarter. Um, and then we we competed. Um, there were some runs both ways. Um, crowd got into it. Um, thought there was a couple times that I was looking at our team and just kind of waiting for them to respond, which they have done all year. Um, they did again tonight in, in a great way and, and gave ourselves an opportunity late, um, but just didn't quite have enough. Um, credit to Kansas State, really, really good basketball team. Um, posed some problems for us, Lee does for sure. Um, but I thought we did a pretty good job on her. Um, I thought our post battle, I thought Kylie Blackston did a really good job tonight on her. Obviously these two guards have been really, really good for us and, and they led the way again. And, um, JJ kind of got going and it took Jordan just a little bit, but then you kind of finally settled in, I thought, and, and Jordan got going and, and then JJ had a really good look there late um, for her that was almost in um, and would have forced overtime again. But um, proud of our group, disappointed obviously in the result, uh, but really, really proud of, uh, of what we have in the locker room. I've had a blast coaching them all year. Um, I, don't, I don't think we're done. I think we're still going to have some basketball in front of us, so I'll be excited to, to watch and prepare for that. Uh, questions for student athletes? Raise your hand, please. All right. So, JJ, this year, compared to last year, whenever you guys were kind of right on the cusp of making the tournament, you didn't really know by the time the Big 12 tournament whether or not that you were going to make it. This year, there's a lot more confidence surrounding that. How does this year's loss compare to last year's in that regard? Last year was a little more heartbreaking just because of the way it happened, but the leaders lost. Um, and this year we fought and stayed together the whole game. And I love the group of girls and I'm going to fight for them to the end of the game. So we, we did that, came up a little short. So JJ, was that the look you wanted? Was that the look you planned for in the last uh, play of the game? Yes. We were me or Jordan. Other questions? Can you talk about the adjustments that you guys made on Lee in the second half, uh, only uh, holding her to a six? Sense that can have to talk about what you guys uh, want, uh, wanted to do with her in the second, second half. Jordan, can you start? Um, I think we went back to you know playing behind her because we started in front of her in the second quarter, um, and that didn't really go as planned as I mean, go how we wanted it to. And then, so going back to the second half, we started playing behind her again, made her make tough shots, you know, and have to put the ball on the floor instead of just lobbing it up and just going up. Sure, um, we have to stay good with what Jordan said. Um, credit to our bigs, they did a great job on her. Um, I mean, with the six points, she could have 60 like she did that other game. So, I mean, it is what it is. Front right. You all started up, I think, up, <clears throat> up 10 or 12 uh, in the first quarter, and then around three minutes to go in the first quarter, things started to cool off. Uh, what happened there? Was it an, an adjustment uh, by Kansas State, or were shots just not falling? JJ? Uh, I think for us, I think we came out in the second quarter a little, a little relaxed, a little too calm. I think we uh, are a calm group of girls uh, probably all the time. I think we got to need to start coming into the game with that fire on us. Uh, kind of like you know, JJ said, maybe just got a little bit too comfortable. Uh, we started relaxing a little bit, seeing that we were up by 10 or 12 points. But yeah, what she said. Uh, back on the podium, somebody can go back. I know it's a tough game tonight um, that you guys lost, but it was a, a heck of a battle. Um, Jordan, I, if I was starting a Hall Girls team, point guard, the heart that you was giving out there, I seen you. the way you was coming out to the, uh, still um, coming out to the ball, still feeding, you know, trying to get your team to lead. But amazing game for you and you girls. Even though that you came up short, I just want to say 
You still play that button off. Thank you. <laughs> All right, any more questions for student athletes? Okay, we'll uh, dismiss the student athletes and we'll open it up for questions for the coach. Thank you. Okay, raise your hand. Okay, we will start here in the right. So tonight's game, I think, followed kind of a similar pattern to the last time you all met as to where you all got a hot start first quarter, then Kansas State kind of started to climb back in the second and carried that into the second half. Did you feel the same way? And if so, how did that kind of impact the mentality of you and the team? Yeah, no, it, it felt very similar. Um, we turned them over quite a bit the first time uh, at their place in the first quarter. Similar here, um, where we did, I thought had them sped up. I mean, that game was playing at a crazy pace there for a while. So when we can play at that, I don't know that we want to try to sustain what that pace was. I don't know that they necessarily did either. Uh, but it really kind of came down to a, a screeching halt, I guess, from our <clears throat> viewpoint. Um, he switched to some zone there, too, in that second quarter. Um, foul trouble bothered us a little bit. Um, you know, when, when Kylie Blackston can play for us against Lee, she can space the floor and get perimeter shots and, and open up the paint. When Kylie's not in, we don't have another player that can do that. So Lee can kind of control the paint a little bit more. And they went zone, and I thought we got a little stagnant in the zone. Uh, made shots in the first quarter, like threes, that we didn't make. Um, so there was just some adjustments, and we lost flow a little bit. Lost our way just a, you know, a little too on the defensive end. Um, but yeah, I mean, survived it to go down three. We were, we were okay at half, needed to make a few adjustments, which I thought we did for the most part. Uh, but it felt very much like it did in Manhattan a few weeks ago. Coach, you know, with Lee inside, it's going to be tough. You're probably going to get out and read about it. Your equalizer is creating turnovers. You created 21 tonight, but you only scored 18 points off those turnovers. Did you have a number in mind coming into this game in terms of we got to score X amount of points off of their turnovers in order to give us a chance to win? Yeah, no, not necessarily. Uh, I mean, we had some goals. Typically, you know, the, the turnovers, we've been 20 plus. We do thrive on points off turnovers. Um, Sundell, the, she does a really good job, and I thought she bothered us in some of those transition opportunities, her length, um, you know, and she'll go straight up, and you know, these two that were up here are so elite in the open floor, but I thought she bothered them a little bit, um, that we just didn't get the, the amount of points that we probably should have off of those turnovers. Um, you know, we got out rebounded, but the offensive rebounds were the same. Like, there really wasn't a, any major difference there. Um, you know, we missed more shots, so they got a lot more defensive rebounds um, than we did. So, um, you know, we were, I thought, okay in that area. We needed to make more threes than them, and I thought, you know, they hit some timely threes. Um, Gregory, who loves those transition threes, that kid's hit those her whole career. Um, she had two huge ones in transition, and even the Walker kid got one um, over there in that left corner. And so when you're playing then you got to give up a little bit of something. You know, I thought we really did a pretty good job on Lee. I know she had 22 and 11, but that was a lot better than what it was the first time we played her. Uh, but then you got to limit them a little bit from three, um, which we did a pretty good job other than the timely threes there in that second half that really probably ultimately separated it. So. Back to the right, Ron. Uh, Coach, you talked about the impact that Blackson has on the defensive side. What kind of impact does she have on the offensive side being able to draw Lee out outside of the post when she's a you know big time shot blocker and rim protector was that a focus of emphasis going into the game for you guys? Yeah, it is, and it always is. But you know, Lee's so dominant inside. Kylie doesn't play that way. Um, on the inside, she would rather face, and you know, she's really a forward. That unfortunately we play her more, you know, as a five, but she's really probably more of a four. Um, but yeah, she can open up. So Lee has to guard her on the perimeter when they play man. And then that's when like the Jordan and JJ's, you know, the paint's open now. So you don't have the shot blocker in there. Um, so when we don't have Kylie, we we're not afforded that luxury. Um, even late, JJ had the read play where she could drive in there, kick it out, and Kylie got the three and missed it there, you know, late. Uh, but she can do that and, and she can shoot it and, and seems to play pretty well when we play Kansas State from the offensive end. Staying in the right. You have lost some really close battles against some of the uh, top competition in the Big 12 and you know even at some of the best in the country with how good the Big 12 is this year. In these close matchups where you fall just short, does it kind of sometimes feel where you can't get, just can't get over the hump when it comes to playing these teams? And if so, what makes you think that or why do you think that is? I don't think that. Um at all. Um, these are one possession games. I think you hang on to every possession in the postseason. Um, I think we lost our way a little bit on some of those possessions. 
Um, you know, and, and they just made the run, and we just didn't respond quick enough to some of those runs. That's probably what I was a little disappointed in. We needed to stop it, we needed to squash it just a little bit quicker, and so instead of it being a 4 0 run or 5 0, it turned into 7. You know, and in a game like this, you know, 7 0 seems significant. Um, and, and we played from behind a little bit too much through those middle two quarters. So, first quarter, and then we got the lead, I think, right once early in the fourth. Uh, but then gave it back. And so I felt like every time we had a look, maybe scored, they went and scored right behind it and kind of either kept us at bay or just we couldn't get that lead back. So we got the lead once in the fourth. We wanted to get it again to see if we could separate, and we just didn't have the answer. Time for one more. Does anyone else have questions? All right. Enjoy your day off. Thanks. Oh, and do not forget, people out there, daylight savings.